screen and um, we'll get started. All right, so you're seeing that, right? Okay. So I'm Devora, and today I'm going to share with you a bit about my story, tell you about what I do, who I serve, and some of the results that my clients get from working with me. So let's start with a question. How many perfectionists does it take to screw in a light bulb? And the answer is none. They changed it before it broke. So as a recovering perfectionist, I help ambitious women access the divine flow and ease within so they can achieve their goals without stress and overwhelm. So my story begins before I was born. Here's my mom. My mom was a preemie. She spent much of her first month of life in a hospital incubator, and she was always a little bit on the anxious side. And um, her family, uh, her parents, uh, well, her mom immigrated from Russia um, after her brothers and sisters and the rest of her family. She was kind of left behind. So there's my mom on the left, my uncle Fred at the bottom, my grandma Bess, my grandpa Hank. And so my mom said that my grandma had a very hard life. And there's a story that once when uh, they were all settled in Nashville, Tennessee, some neighbors came over bringing Christmas presents for all the kids in the family, except for my grandma, because they didn't know she was part of the family. And here's my dad. He's, his mom came over from Russia as a teenager with an uncle. And sadly, there's a kind of family secret about what may have happened along the way. She was an unstable mother of five. And here he is at his uh, college graduation. His father was an immigrant, a house painter, a boxer, quiet man. And he was the youngest and the only boy in the family. He was practically raised by his sister here, my auntie Edna on the left. And as a boy, he was the hope of the family. He attended the prestigious Boston Latin School and then later Harvard College. So here he is at his graduation. And back then they sacrificed to pay the $100 per year tuition. So he came from an unstable home where they sacrificed for him and his duty was to work hard in return. So we think that we come into the world a blank slate, but that's not the case. So here I am, even before I had a chance to figure out who I was, I had already inherited a chain of attitudes and behaviors from those who came before me. And as I grew up, my parents taught me lessons do well in school, do everything with excellence, sacrifice yourself along the way. Here I am in my baton twirling costume. I would cry if I didn't get first place. Here I am, I graduated third in my high school class. I didn't cry, I was actually pretty happy about that. So here were my early life lessons. You have to push yourself. You can never do enough, you're not enough. Don't take care of yourself because you're not worthy or deserving, so why take care of yourself? So this is where I grew up in this tension where I learned how to appreciate doing my best to the extent where it was never enough and also not taking care of myself because if you're not seen and heard by your caretakers, how can you feel worthy or deserving? My life was a struggle between these two forces that I inherited. So I went on to dun, 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 Harvard College to graduate with honors. Now, needless to say, the tuition was a lot more than $100 a year by the time I got there. And this conflict within me got stronger until one day I was sitting with my husband, well, sitting with my husband, hello, sitting with my mom, Freudian slip there. Uh, and I had a vision that if I didn't learn to become a type B personality by the age of 40, I would have a heart attack. Now, I don't know why at the age of 20, I had that vision, but just sit tight. Fast forward to my life here in Israel. I had become religious in my quest for personal perfection. I wanted to be the perfect mother to perfect children. Here's my husband. We've had a couple more kids since then. And things were pretty, you know, chaotic and <laughs> scattered uh, raising these kids. So I was raising them as a Harvard mom from a place of excellence, but you know, raising kids, nothing's perfect. So I was pushing myself until I got exhausted. And all I could think about was I wish I could just get away for a few days. And guess what? I did, I landed in the hospital. 
I landed in the hospital with inflammation in the brain, spinal cord, and optic nerve. Here's a picture of my eye, my left eye. The gray area is where I actually saw a gray spot in my vision. Wherever I looked, I just saw a gray spot. So I was basically going blind. They diagnosed me with a light case of uh, multiple sclerosis. And it was a huge hit to my perfectionist ego, of course. Um, and uh, the original diagnosis was for a rare type of multiple sclerosis that hits only one out of every 100,000 people. And I was devastated because I always thought I was one in a million. So that was my wake up call. And from this, I decided I had enough of not being enough. And I decided to do a complete turnaround, 180, a swing to wellness. And you could say that getting seriously ill saved my life. And I finally started to take time to give to myself. So I worked with a team of practitioners, including a mentor who coached me through the healing process, I had a naturopath, a homeopath, and everything you could think of. I deepened my relationship to myself, my inner guidance, my relationship to God. And I discovered an inner strength and intuitive abilities I didn't know that I had. And so this personal journey from chronic illness to wellness inspired me to help other women who push themselves hard and feel pulled in different directions without taking care of themselves. So my mission is to help ambitious women access the divine flow and ease within so they can achieve their goals without stress and overwhelm. And I do this through high level intuitive coaching and healing, working together with the divine. And so I wanna share with you a little bit of background of relating to what we talked about in the beginning. So this is a family tree, here's you. And as you can see, you're connected to your two parents. They're each connected to two parents and so on and so on. And here, you know, four generations, you've got 16 influences. And if you imagine, if you continue this, how many influences that you get in your life coming down your family tree, you know, genetically through your DNA, through the, um, the nurturing process, you know, nature versus nurture, all of that, your influences, then by 20 generations back, you have over a million influences on the DNA level and in that nurturing level. By 30 generations, over a billion influences. So how do I help? So I help on different levels. I teach my clients self-healing stress release techniques to be calm and find inner peace. I help them with spiritual empowerment so they can lead from, from your divine essence. And as an intuitive coach, I help on different levels. My clients get awareness about how their circumstances then create thoughts and emotions and behaviors that then end up in their results, the results of stress and overwhelm and everything that comes from that. I help them connect to their inner guidance so they can get clarity in ways that work for them. I help you create new mindsets and action plans so you can move forward, move forward with confidence. And finally, as a coach, accountability to treat, achieve your goals with a high level of support. And what makes me unique from uh, all other kinds of coaching is the level of divine energy healing that helps you get better results faster by healing on deep levels, particularly the levels of those influences that we spoke about earlier. So here's Cynthia. Cynthia is an emotional wellness coach. And she came to me as a busy mom with two kids, a special needs kid, uh, stuck at home in the lockdown with homeschooling. In her words, things were muddy. It was craziness. Life was a merry-go-round. She was overwhelmed with high stress levels. And a result of, as a result of working together in all those levels I just showed you, she reported getting better sleep, waking up feeling her purpose, she gracefully shifted her awareness from business to family, she said, feeling peaceful and present, grateful and grounded, and as an added bonus, achieved her weight loss goal. Nice job, Cynthia. Here's Joy. Joy is a communications consultant transitioning into a life coach, and she came to me as a single mom with a lot on her plate. She had spent her time, her life taking care of others, um, including her mother, 
And she was feeling confusion and inaction in her business with a lot of self-judgment, self-doubt, that imposter syndrome thing really stuck in her story. And after working together, she felt reconnected with herself. These are her words, able to tap into her inner wisdom, feeling centered, aligned with her inner knowing, clearly focused on her next actions and more confident in her work and all other parts of her life. Or help me to embrace and enjoy the beauty of simply being human, which is just really priceless. All right. So real quick, four groups of milestones to help my clients achieve in work-life balance with boundaries, finding time for themselves, being present, and being happier. On the physical level, healing chronic and acute issues. Uh, a lot of this comes from the divine energy healing and the self-healing. Uh, greater self-care, energy levels, feeling healthier. On the emotional and mental level, releasing the negativity so that they can feel inner peace, calm confidence, balanced, grounded, connected, and achieve their goals with less effort. Finally, in relationships, like all of that, when you take care of yourself at all those levels, your relationships naturally improve. So you have better communication, your marriage feels like a team, better parenting, and you have more, more fulfillment. So... In sum, my vision is to create a divinely inspired world where women lead with grace and with ease. So thank you so much for letting me share some of my story with you. And if you'd like more information, I have a free guide that you can download from my website. It's called Four Steps to Ease and Flow for High Achieving Women. And thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for that with does anyone have any questions, Deborah? Any questions?